Fukushima Prefecture to inspect all cattle farms. It is the 13th of the 7th, 2011. Sounds pretty good, right? Until you read the story. Uh, Fukushima Prefecture has decided to inspect all of its cattle farms for radioactivity after radioactive, radioactive cesium exceeding the government standard was detected in cattle shipped from a farm. Uh, it's been learned that of the 17 heads of cattle shipped from the farm after the March nuclear accident, six were sent to Tokyo and uh, Tugachi Prefecture from where the beef was distributed to retailers in eight prefectures without being tested for radioactive material. Uh, Fukushima Prefecture decided to inspect all of its cattle in the evacuation zone around the Fukushima Diachi nuclear power plant and at least one head of cattle from all other farms within the prefecture. So they're only testing one cow per farm in the Fukushima prefecture. But the measure is likely to be hampered by a lack of testing equipment. Cattle processed in Fukushima prefecture are tested at three facilities inside and outside the prefecture but the facilities must also check pork and other meats as well as vegetables. They have therefore been able to test beef from only 28 heads of cattle since the March disaster. About 90% of the cattle from Fukushima are sent to meat processing plants in other prefectures. These plants entrust safety inspections to local governments which have been able to test not less than 1% of Fukushima cattle. Even if the prefecture purchases more testing equipment, it would be needed in the cooperation of other local governments to inspect all cattle farms for radioactivity. And on-site inspection of cattle farmers begins. Officials in the prefecture have launched an on-site inspection for all cattle farms evacuation zone around the Fukushima Diachi nuclear power plant. The move comes after radio to activities was detected in beef from the prefectures. The inspectors of feed and other items cover 260 farms in an area subject to evacuation. Last week the radioactive cesium, the government standard, was detected in 11 cattle shipped from within uh, Manmoza City. Another 17 were found to have been fed with hay left outdoors after the March nuclear incident. And uh, on Tuesday, two prefectural officials inspected a farm in Kawachi Village. The officials interviewed the farmer about how the feed has been kept and measured the radiation level of grass used for covering the floors of the cattle barn. The farmer told NHK that he was shocked by the detection of cesium and that he welcomes the inspections because it would help ease consumer concerns about beef. The prefecture plans to expand the on-search checking to all cattle farms within the prefecture after completing the current round of inspections by this weekend. Oh, just insane. And of course I will provide a link below. They are not testing this beef as they should be. And it is in the food supply. And uh, where's that other one? Checking internal radiation of people begins. An atomic energy research facility in, I'm going to kill it, a Baraki prefecture has begun screening residents from neighborhood Fukushima in northwest Japan for internal radiation. Fukushima prefecture plans to check the entire population of about 2 million to assess the effects of the accident at Fukushima Diachi nuclear power plant. It is now checking internal radiation levels for residents in the evacuation zone and areas near the nuclear plant as well. Similar checks have also begun in the government-affiliated Japan Atomic Energy Agency in Tukai Village, uh, Ibaraki, where a total of 28 pregnant women, parents, and their small children from the Nami town arrived on Tuesday. A piece of equipment called a whole body counter will be used to determine if they have absorbed radiation materials through food and drinks. The facility will examine about 28 people from Fukushima through next month. So they're only going to do 2,800 people in a month, and they got 2 million to go. The math doesn't add up. So uh, serious problems coming out of Japan, and again, they can't stop the information from leaking out. Heads up, links below.